It's time for God's Word for Real Life. I want you to open up your book. Uh, if you have it, it's going, let's go to Mark, the 15th chapter, the 37th and 39th verse, which reads, And Jesus cried out with a loud voice and breathed his last. Then the veil of the temple, which was torn in two from the top to the bottom. So when the centurion, who stood opposite of him, saw he cried out, with like manner, and he said, he breathed his last. He said, the centurion said, truly, this man was the son of God. I can't even imagine what that scene was like with Jesus on the cross and releasing his spirit that day and watching the whole world start to be impacted. You know, the sky turned black and the earth quaked, and then the veil that was in the temple that separated the Holy of Holies. You remember, that's where the priest would go in once a year and make sacrifice. It was woven of tapestry that was 12 inches thick. Think of that, 12 inches thick, and it was torn in two. And what did the word say? From the top to the bottom. That's the power that no man could do. It's, it, no, nothing compares with the power of our almighty God. Think of the anguish in the heart of the Father as he allowed his son to be murdered for you and for me. Heaven was grieving, but remember, Sunday was coming. Let's rejoice. You can receive a copy of this uh, email devotional every day. Just go to our website, you can sign up, and we'll send it to you every day. That's God's word for real life.